This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Random characters, random creatures, and you guys' amazing art. Today, those worlds are crashing together. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm Ten Hundred. A while back, I put out a video where I went to this crazy website that generates random characters. You click the generate button, it gives you a crazy long list of all this weird stuff. After I generated this random creature and this random character, I told you guys to make your own versions, post it to Instagram with the hashtag Ten Hundred random C and I would be reviewing the crazy art that you made out of these whatever they are. Uh, just a quick quick recap on what we're working with here and then I'm gonna jump in and review the amazing art submissions that you guys made. So the random creature that I created was the Cheerin. It's quadrupedal four legs, it has a rabbit's head, two chameleon eyes, a mouse nose, a feline muzzle with sharp fangs, it has a stocky neck, its shoulders are pronounced, it has a chimpanzee torso and a fat stomach, two elongated lemur forelegs, two wolf hind legs, and a canine tail. I told you, you <laughs> I told you these were crazy. And then uh, the Chirin's head, neck, and legs are covered in a rock-like skin while the rest of its body is covered in slime. And then there's like a bunch of other stats here. There's a link in the description if you guys want like a longer read through of these. I also made a video about it going over this stuff that I'm linking to right here if you want the full in-depth background. But that's the quick rundown on Chirin. And then I also generated a random character. His name's Carter Salazar. He's six foot four. He's muscular with dark skin. He has a narrow face, a rounded jaw, a broad nose, and angled lips. His brown eyes are wide, and he has a monobrow. His brown hair is mid-back length, straight permed. He usually wears formal clothes that are mostly vividly colored and loose and flowing. There's a ton of other stuff. This guy has some very uh, controversial feelings about the world, to say the least. <laughs> There's like tons of stats on him. So you guys submitted many hundreds <laughs> of pieces of art. I went through literally every single one and I have selected my favorites. I've selected probably way too many favorites. So <laughs> if you feel like I'm just speeding through these, I want to get to as many as possible. And with that being said, let's take a look at what you guys made. All right. First one, dark colors art. This is an oil painting, 50 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Wow. This is so cool. There's so much going on here. You got the octopus in the background, the crash car. We do have the slime on the cheer and the rock like skin, the hair head, you hit it all and the rendering and shading and like painterly oil composition of this piece is super sick. This one was so cool. Just like the crazy shadows and highlights. I really liked the grayscale composition. It's so shiny and so creepy and so spooky and so cheering. That's awesome. He's got the little grub in his hand. The cheering loves to eat grub. Dang, that shading is so sick. Nice job. <laughs> oh, we got some Vivid Kingdoms playing cards in there. Flattery will get you everywhere. This crazy, like, I don't even know what the freaking process is of this. Is this photo manipulation? I like how you did Carter Salazar and the Cheerin. In the rundown, it did say Salazar loves games. So we got some nice board games there and some cards. He likes sleight of hand tricks. Those swanky clothes on Carter are fire, man. The proportions on this are insane. So cool. Like, that's actually what a cheering might look like. The only thing that's not in here is the uh, the slime, but <laughs> the chameleon eyes, the hair's head. It looks like some freaking concept art for a movie or video game or something. I hope he sees this, says Creature.27. I saw it. It's sick. Nice job. Incredulous Kirk. I really like the line art on this one. That background is all like cross hatching. Must have taken a hundred million years to do all this. Actually, everything is like cross hatching. The shading that you did is so sick. Is this ballpoint pen drawing? It almost kind of looks like it. Dang. Incredulous Kirk, sick. Oh man, this one was so dope. You got Carter Salazar with his love of games, playing Monopoly with the Cheerin, got the octopus, Carter's favorite animal. All of the expressions and poses are like so, uh, there's so much character to these faces. Even the octopus is like giving that side eye. Shading is sick. Line art, sick. Dude, I want that freaking pink salmon color suit so bad. Esplebees. Dope. Ooh, this one was so cool. It's like freaky, lanky, long, creepy. Looks like an alien. I just love this pose and like the way that you have like extended the features of this character and like exaggerated everything. Very simplistic with just like the green, which is also on the slime and then just line art and this like cream background. That's just an awesome illustration. Check out the links in the description. I'm gonna try to put everybody's uh, Instagram link who's in this video kind of in order 
order of how they appeared. So make sure to go check out your fellow artists. Give them a follow. All these artists are so sick. <laughs> the clay one. This is so cool. I love the sculptural stuff. It just like takes it an extra level. And this kind of gives me the sort of like, this would be a zany character in like a Wallace and Gromit uh, animation or something. He's got his monobrow going hard. I really like the extra effort you put into this. Early spring creations, dope. That's fire. Oh, dang. This is cool. Is this clay or is this uh, like 3D? I think this is a 3D render just based on the ground. Oh yeah, hashtag 3D sculpting from Peanut tie designs. That is such a goofy looking cheer and especially with the tongue out and those like beady eyes from the chameleon eyes. What the heck? You guys like made this so much cooler than it has any right to be. Like this is such an abomination based on the description and it's still kind of an abomination but it's a cool abomination. <laughs> so dope. I just really liked this one because it had like super awesome painterly style. You could tell it's a physical painting not like a digital piece of art. I love all the mushrooms and the grubs and the lizards which is like the Cheeran's favorite food. Golden fluid acrylics, 10 inch by 10 inch on wood. Nice job, Kayla tattoos. Ooh, the color pencil steez. That's like so sick. I love the shading on this. This one's cool because like the chameleon eyes on almost everyone else's are like really big, which is like similar to what a chameleon's proportions are. But on this one, like the size of the rabbit eyes, they just kind of tuck some chameleon eyes in there. You got the rock like skin, you got a little bit of slime going on. And if you really do like cover up the top of the face, it's a cat mouth and then a hair head, which actually blends together super well. <laughs> this one was just weird. The carrot gum you want to chew. Put onto a brick wall. Crazy cartoon Carter Salazar. Zombie alien Cheerins. Bunch of shadow, shadow people. I'm confused. I like it. Another super sick sculpture. Dang. Got the Cheerin chilling on a log. I like how glazy and shiny and freaky this thing is. Lots of like dry brushing and texture. Even the lighting on the photo is sick. So much respect for the sculptors out there. Sculpey, epoxy sculpt, acrylics, etc. Fire, James, Dusek, dope. Really cool painting, a longer composition. I really like the colors you chose. Lisa Create Stuff said, thought this would be the perfect time to learn how to use Posca pens correctly and find out if color pencil works on canvas. Looks like it did, that's dope. Frank J. Tanner, it's dope. It's a style that it's just feels really soft and wispy and even like a little blurry, but I thought that was really cool. Look at the little baby cheerings, <laughs> just chilling. Cheering almost seems like it's like half smoke, like it's just a wisp in the wind and it's so rare to see one or something. That's dope. The pose of this cheering is so cool. It's like almost like a freaking circular yin yang sign. And then we have this foot like way extreme in the foreground and then it's other like feet and legs like way back in the background to the point where they're just becoming like shadowy mist. And man, that just the position of this is like so flowy and so cool. And I love the extreme force perspective. Love the painterly vibe on this. They did both the Cheerin and Carter playing a board game. I don't know what that, oh, they got into a car crash or something? There's like a, it's cool how they implemented the mirror in there and they have the reflection of the game in the mirror. Extra mile went, you got a random brake light back there. What the heck is going on in this scene? They seem like they're in real trouble, but they're still taking time to play that game. Man, this one's so cool. The colors, the halftone textures, the Carter Salazar just peering directly into my soul. His eyes just penetrating me and the sort of like neon pink highlights and stuff that's going on here and a little baby cheering chilling on his lap dang you guys are so talented i'm gonna interrupt taking a look at this awesome art real quick to let you know that this video is brought to you by squarespace listen squarespace is an all-in-one dynamic platform where you can build a beautiful website we have so many artists here that are doing such amazing art and a really good way to share your art and your portfolio with the world is by having a beautiful website and squarespace can help with that it's super easy easy to build a website on Squarespace. You don't need to know how to code. There's not a bajillion sub menus to sort through and try to figure out what the heck is going on. You just take one of their beautiful templates, drop in your amazing content, and boom, you have a website. I've been using Squarespace for years and years, and honestly, if I can build a website, so can you. They have tons of features to make your website super cool, like pretty much anything you would want a website to have, Squarespace has it. If you ever do run into any issues with your website, they have 24 seven customer support. They can help 
help you out. They've helped me out in the past. They're dope. So what are you waiting for? Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 10 hundred to get 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. All right guys, let's get back to the art. This was from Art by Giga. I actually uh, stumbled across his YouTube video of him making this so cool, like very painterly oil painting, got the little watcher on his lapel. I think there's just a way more traditional oil painterly vibe than like a lot of the other submissions and a bit more on like the realistic end of the spectrum. Man, he looks so like mysterious and dark like he's plotting something and he just like is about to take his revenge on you for something you did like half a decade ago and you completely forgot about but Carter's just been laying in wait ready to make his move. <laughs> so cool. Man this guy looks freaking awesome. Love that pose. Love the sort of like stocky proportions of the cheering. Got some like kangaroo legs almost going. That rock texture on his back is so cool. This thing like straight up right now looks like it could be a sci-fi creature in some like Disney animated movie or something. I I made an educational tape about the cheering on my YouTube channel. Mmm, I gotta watch that. Hi y'all, I'm BP. Today's video's over the cheering, known to locals as the Bog Goblin or the Ah! That thing killed Jimmy Bow! Cheerins are sedentary creatures and can spend their entire adult life in one burrow. They average five feet or 1.5 meters tall, but the females have been known to reach up to seven feet tall. That's a pretty big critter. This is so cool. Wow, this is awesome. I'm gonna watch this whole thing later. You guys should check that out. That's that's going the extra mile right there. That's sick. This is another one that had an epic YouTube video that I watched the whole thing. So it's like a whole family and they painted, this is like a mural and the mom and like the three kids or two kids or something like all painted on these. They love art YouTube. They know more about art YouTube than probably any art YouTuber. There's references to 17 different art YouTubers on here. So they have the cheering in the middle. They have the pet card that I painted um, and then there's just a I mean you got Kipto in there you got Jazza you got a, a bunch of different people uh, and evidently this is all supposed to be set in Smo Nova's backyard <laughs> with his like mural wall but yeah this is like a big mural on their wall at their house that the whole family painted together and it's fire and it's a good YouTube video too Guild of the Flying Tortoise nice job I freaking love this one man the color scheme the way you rendered it with that kind of like soft painterly look. There's no black lines. It's not like illustrative or graphic, but it still is. And there's so much extra little details on like all the things that Carter is holding. I love the octopus chilling in the head pool. Really, really strong uh, composition and colors and rendering style. Huggleton. <laughs> this one's just so cute. Kawaii. This is Chirin. His name is Ed Chirin. <laughs> he loves to wear his octopus hat named Carter Salazar. That's just too cute. Awesome job. Creepy movie poster version of the Chirin. They're coming out of the shadows. Creatures from the dark woods. Coming soon. <laughs> That's so sick. Another super sick sculpture. Dang. Is this my favorite sculpture so far? Maybe show. That one's so cool. I'm just so humbled by sculptors, man. Every time I try to sculpt, it's just not a good look. <sighs> Gotta try that again, I guess. Wow. OB1 Art. Sick. Really cool graphic illustration style. Nice line weight. Cool shading. I like the slime. I like the tongue sticking out. Lizard Beth Art. The chameleon eyes really sealed it for me. Yeah, totally. <laughs> nice job. Ah, oh, this one's so cool. <laughs> He's so focused, man. I just really like this character style. Really cool rendering. Man, that shirt is so cool. I like how you have like the octopus print on the shirt, but the shadows like still continue from the purple into the orange, so on and so forth. That's often a really hard technique to achieve. Very anime-esque style Carter Salazar. He looks like a freaking character from Tekken or Street Fighter or something. Like a mixture of like Vega and Eddie Gordo. I don't know. That background is really cool with like the different leaves and stuff. Crazy texture on his pants. Hot diggity donuts. That's crazy. Awesome job. Wiley Art. Dang, you guys. You guys are so creative. This is insane. Is that crocheting? Look at the little cheer and stuffed animal. I use green glitter for the eyes. Puffy paint to make the bumps for the 
rock like skin. I use rose gold sequins. And finally, I use glow in the dark puffy paint for the thin slime covering his body. That is so awesome. Man, you guys are so freaking creative. Ben, TN, two shapes. Fire. I want that little stuffed animal cheering. I'll cuddle him every night. This guy is so cute. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. What a little rascal. Cool, cool shading, cool rendering. Really cool character design. I love that face. He just looks like he's about to go get into some trouble. Awesome job. I'm always a sucker for just clean black and white line art. Cool perspective. Cheering the freaking crazy warrior coming at you. Got the veins popping and everything. Or maybe, oh no, that's probably the slime. That's probably the slime. Awesome. <laughs> Speaking of cheering the freaking action hero, this one is like Carter Salazar is like some 90s kids cartoon character who's gonna ride his cheering into battle. That looks like an action figure design. More extreme action, more crazy poses, cheering, like jumping into battle. Peace move was here. That's one of my aliases. Shout me out. Man, the cheering is getting ripped. The past three submissions are just like, cheering, baby. Yeah, let's go. Dude, the fisheye perspective on this is so tight and the ballpoint pen rendering so cool chabizzle they said definitely want to do more of this fisheye style i agree that's really cool awesome cheering and his whole cheering family snacking down on some grubs really cool background awesome character design i like the ones with the full environment it puts the cheering in a time and a place awesome this one's really cool it has that kind of like scientific paper uh, vibe the cheerinus canis lapis cheering is a nocturnal mammal so cool i love this scientific vibe you guys a lot of these like if you go look at uh, look at their posts on instagram there's like multiple slides of them and they show more details and more art and stuff my boy doug slapped this whole slideshow together for me so that i could like quickly scroll through these but if you guys go to instagram and type in 10 hun random c under the hashtags thing there's hundreds of pieces of really sick art carter salazar really cool bold uh illustrative style dr sleep because <laughs> carter salazar i think he was like had a fear of sleep man that hair so cool Cool. Kind of reminds me of like tree branches. I like all the little details on this. Dang, this must have taken a long time. That rock like skin. I just thought this was a cool composition, a cool illustration. And uh, yeah, I really like this piece. This one's cool. It has a little bit of the environment, but then like the background is just like a cool gradient and it really focuses your eye. And then like even just the outer edge of the environment, it's, I don't know, it's like this flo little floating world, but it's really, really, really clean art style. Valiant for president. <laughs> Carter Salazar is trapped in the night museum with the cheering. Is that cheering just a display or is it only pretending and you better not turn your back on it? This is such a cool scene. It's so moody and like you took these two characters and put them in an environment together that tells a story and makes sense. Thought that was a really creative idea. The line weight and the shading style and the, just the professional vibe of this illustration is super cool. I like the character design, but that's just clean, clean, clean. Safi design dope. This one's so tight. It's got that like maybe like five color design. Definitely has like a rock and roll poster type of aesthetic to it. Love this piece. The actual design of the cheering is just so cool. Freaky alien. Look at those wrinkles on the freaking knuckles, dude. I want to print to this. Call me Naka. So cool. The glowing grubs, lots of glow in this piece. I really love the colors that this artist chose. Kind of elevated it to having like a, a phosphorescent type of vibes to the cheering. Really cool piece. Your boy Carter Salazar, chilling with his octopus, doing mechanical stuff, playing games. Awesome illustration style. Purple and yellow is always a good choice. I like the pink glow on everything. Really nicely illustrated. Dope. Oh man, this one's so cool. <laughs> Bit more of like a realistic version of Carter Salazar. I like the, a lot of the textures and designs and stuff he used. The really cool pose of this like main character. He's got the slits in his eyes. He's watching. He's making monobrows cool again, you know? Carter. Mr. Carter. Sick. Man, the, the watercolor vibes of this is so cool. I love the way this is rendered. I love the way the cheering looks. And it's got this sort of like nature illustration. Like here's its egg. Here's what it eats. Here's the natural fauna around where the cheering lives. So cool. Cool. Yeah, boy. Big headed cheering. Another just like phenomenal uh, illustrative style, like the, the bold line art mixed with like really good shading and digital rendering. Look at all those little bumps on those eyes. That must've taken a while. 
I like the color scheme of the pink and the sort of sandy color and then like the, the muted teals and jade greens is really cool. This is why I love drawing challenges. Why would I ever combine all these things? <laughs> I'm sure that's what like every single artist who worked on this thought. Your boy Carter riding on his cheering. Look at that octopus tentacle tie. Oh my goodness, this one's so sick. This one just has lots of cool style. I love all the little thin white highlights on this. Carter looks very focused, thinking about how he's gonna get his <laughs> inappropriate world views to be more socially acceptable. Sick. Super crazy anime version of your boy Carter Salazar. Looks like he's about to fight Ryu. Love the anime stees, the golden wrench like strapped onto his arm and the little chest piece earrings, those little details that still keep it in the world of like anime character, but like it's also referenced back to the craziness that is Carter Salazar. Dope. This one's just a really cool little sketch, man. Like it's so gestural and so loose, but like has so much character. And that <laughs> little weasel nose cheering just like with his backwards hat on and his umbrella is just He's so wily and so cool. I love that. Like sometimes you like just the most loose, sketchy stuff can still be so cool. And I love this piece. That's awesome. This is like cheering as a prowling lion or tiger. This is really, really cool uh, understanding of like anatomy. Even though this creature doesn't exist, you've got like good muscular structure there. And it almost feels like this animal could be real, even though it's like just insane animal that's like made by a random algorithm or something. This artist was able to make it seem almost believable. And on the opposite end of that believable spectrum is just freaking super cute, like glowing anime stees. Man, this is such a stylish version of the Chirin with like such cool markings and color schemes and freaking color burn opacity layers and very dope. I love this style. So much talent, so much talent in this freaking YouTube community with like literally the worst art prompts ever <laughs> that make no sense. You guys turn these into super awesome. So this was from Joey Benduro. Cool little moleskin illustration, really nice line work. Carter Salazar, pro war. He's a real goon, isn't he? Just a quality, quality illustration right there, dope. And I think this is the last one. Super cool drawing style, awesome shading. That cheering, just like <sighs> crouched down, ready to attack. Stay close, says Carter Salazar. So cool. The NC Art Studio. Wow, you guys, you absolutely killed it. Now, in my last video, I said first place is going to be able to choose. I got these two paintings here. I made these 100% with kitchen utensils. Got an abstract one. Got freaking cursed Garfield here. I made these with like spatulas and spoons and whisks and stuff. It was a crazy art challenge. First place, my absolute favorite one, is going to be able to choose between one of these two. And then second place is going to get the other one. Hopefully, it was more about the fun you had in the journey along the way than the actual prize. But the runner up, my second favorite art piece, and this is just my freaking personal opinion, dude. There was just like a ton of good art and it was like incredibly difficult to even narrow it down to these like bajillion that I chose. <laughs> but coming in at number two, is this one, Espelbees. I really, really liked your character style. The whole scene that you set here, you've got Carter Salazar in there, you got Sheeran, just stylish. I love it. You're gonna win whichever one this next person doesn't choose. And my number one favorite is, in my personal opinion, which who cares about that, is Kalmanaka with the crazy, awesome, like rock and roll style cheering. Really, really bold, cool color choices. Awesome line work. Crazy, crazy good. I love this piece. Kalmanaka's gonna choose what they want. Espo Bees gets the other one. You guys all did such an amazing job. I love, love, love watching what this community can do creatively. Coming from the most weird and random places, these random characters and random creatures were very, very difficult. I know that you guys probably struggled trying to figure out how to make this insanity look cool, but you did a fantastic job. Thank you all so much. We'll try to do more art challenges like this in the future. I love checking out what you guys made. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much to my patrons. You guys are the coolest people on the internet. Congratulations to all the artists. You guys did an awesome job. I'm 1000. I will catch you guys on the next one. Good job, everybody. Peace out.